What we want to do is add a person to our group photo. Let's go get the photos. File. Open. Here are the two photos. I'll just put a little box around them. That'll select them. Hold the Shift key down. Click on Open. Shift will prevent it from opening in ACR first. In one photo, we have Norman missing, and I'm in the photo. And the other photo, I'm missing, and Norm is in this photo. So we'll take me from the other photo and put me right here. We'll go to the other photo first. I'm going to pull a guide down from the rulers. Control R will bring up a ruler, rulers if you don't have one. Put it to the top of my hat. Bring another one down. Put it to the bottom of my feet. Okay. Oops. Right there. Okay. Now, we'll go to the... Uh, oh, you got to get a reference. We look at Larry's. We'll see this is just about to the top of Larry's hat and the bottom of Jacqueline's feet. We go to the other photo, pull a guide down, same place, t t t just at the top of Larry's hat almost, and Jacqueline's feet. Now I know I should fit right inside this area right here. Let's go get me. We'll click on the other photo. We don't need the um, guidelines anymore. I'm going to hit Control H. Get the lasso for L. L is short for lasso. And I'm just going to Lasso me a big chunk of this. That should work. Hit V for move. Let's get some move tool. I'll drag this over to the first image. And i am still got the mouse button down. I'm just going to drop it here in the image someplace. There we go. We're in. we got to move it approximately where it's going to go. We'll get it really precise. I'm trying to get my hat right on that line. And that should do it right there. And my feet should be on this line, but look, they're not. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to transform that. Edit. Free transform is Control T. So we'll click on that. Hold the Shift key down to constrain it. Move my feet up. I mean, move this corner up till my feet are on this line. There we go. Oh, look, my hat got a little big. Went over the line. There we go. Now I'm about the right size. My feet, my hat. I should be just about the right size. Okay. So we'll commit that. Oh wait, before we do that, let's line up these stairs a little bit. Uh, I think I'll tilt these up just a little bit. Well, we'll see how that goes. Hit the commit button. Now I'm going to tap the uh, number 5 on the keyboard. That'll change the opacity of this layer to 50%. 50%. Okay. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down. Make sure I got the move tool, V. And I'm going to have to move myself over. I'm really looking at Larry and his pants and stuff. And make sure everything just where I think it should be. And that's pretty close. I think I'll go with that right about there. So I think that should do it. I'm going to tap the zero key. And that um, brings up to full opacity. Control H again. We'll hide these lines so we don't need those. And all we have to do is erase everything we don't want. So I think I'm going to start doing that by adding a layer mask to this layer. So I'll go to the layer mask. I'll click on it. Oh, it's a white ma layer mask. We would need a black one to hide everything. So I'm going to hit Control-I. That'll invert the layer mask. Thank you very much. Now what I'm going to do is to get a brush and brush me into this area here. So I'm going to tap B. Brings up the brush. A little bigger brush should be good. It's a soft brush, and it needs to be white, which it is. So we'll ju I'll just kind of um, paint me in. I should be in the right place because I'm pretty sure I put myself in the right place. And all I'm doing is painting over everything where I'm in. So I think I got myself. Maybe I need a shoulder over here. There we go. Now I want to check it. All I'm going to do is. Um, Turn off the background layer over here. Click on the background layer. And I think I missed a toe. I'll add that. Maybe a little on this side. Add that. And that should do it. Okay. And I'm going to alt click on the mask or option click if you have a Mac. Check for holes. There are none. We're good. I'm going to click on the picture again. That is on the layer. Turn on the background layer. So I should be in pretty good shape. Um you want to check for really close stuff you can zoom in 
and oh see there's like a double door thing here that's not right I'll get the brush again make sure I'm on the layer mask this time it should be a black brush because we're going to erase this time we actually want to erase this part that was added in from that other layer there we go that's all erased out and probably would look good if you took it all the way up there this is probably off the tad too so that even makes it a little more perfect the way it fit in there and a little right there okay anyway you go around the photo check for those things if anything you don't like you can change it I'm gonna add a little bit here on Larry's pants something like that and so okay control zero will give us the full screen all we have to do is crop this so I'll hit the letter C for crop I want a 5 by 7 which is already set for thank you and I can pull the edges down just a little bit I can center everybody in the photo and if I want to I can check to make sure it's level I'm gonna go outside the box rotate I'm looking at those door details and see if they're all about the same place somewhere in there looks pretty close I'd say and then I can just hit the checkbox and commit it and we got a 5x7 cropped in less than five minutes or so and we're ready to go so that should do it I hope you learned something thanks for watching